You see here, Cote de Rhone Village is still red wine country with rosé here at just 1% and whites at three. But we have the same 23 grape varieties that are allowed in the wines. There must be, when we talk about blends here, there must be, you know, it, Grenache is mandatory here. And there must be at least one blending partner to Grenache. And Syrah and Mouved are the big key blenders here. These three grapes must make up 66% of the blend or more. But again, remember, lots of publications will show the planting percentages. Um, anyway, because the Cote de Rhone growing areas are all in the south, where Grenache and other diverse grape varieties are grown, there is no exception for 100% varietal wine here, not like in the north um, where you can make 100% Syrah. The whites, too, must be blends using the primary grapes that we discussed previously, and they may, must still make up 50% of the blend. So let's go over then, what are the differences between these areas and their wines? So in a Cote de Rhone village versus the Cote de Rhone, you'll generally find deeper color, maybe more intensity of color, more structured tannins, more concentration of fruit. You know, these are dinner table wines for sure. But you are getting certain areas that have certain either terrain um, that really are going to produce wines with a bit more intensity. And of course, with that increased um, tannin level, we're going to get some extra aging on these wines. And I'll talk about aging in a bit. The whites go well, they're just because I'm hungry. I threw in these slides. <laughs> but the whites go well with risotto, poultry dishes, veal, seafood, cheeses. Um, really, I mean, that nice, it's you've got this refreshness, that freshness I mentioned, but then you've got this beautiful body. So that weight, you know, with the rich cheeses is just this yin yang of beautiful, just beautiful complementary uh, um, weights. The rosés are sublime with salmon tartare, which I'm a fan of, or nichoise salad, um, charcuterie or cold cuts. And the reds will match up beautifully with red meats, anything from grilled burgers to juicy steaks. Okay, I really have to stop talking about food. <laughs> anyway, here's what you'll see on the store shelf with a label for a Cote de Rhone Village wine. So you see here, you're going to see Cote de Rhone Village. It's not just a clever name. It is the, the name of the appellation and it will show clearly on the label. Okay, now bear with me. This is like one of those gifts where when you open, you keep encountering smaller boxes until you get to the prize jewel. <laughs> so within those 95 villages that can label their wines Cote de Rhone Village, there are 22 superior villages or geographical areas. Um, a geographical area may be a little bit bigger you know, than a village or it may be a collection of villages. So these 95 villages that are the Cote de Rhone village, um, 22 spring out of those as having something unique about them. So whether they share a particular mesoclimate or, or sort of rocky soils, or they can share different things, but each of those things is going to lead to a new sort of typicity, a unique and distinct characteristics in the wine. 